it's close to Halloween. Now, I don't know about your town, but in Ohio, you can go trick-or-treating about 20 times when you live in Ohio because every dang city has a different day and you could go to like three different things in the same town. Like we have the trunk or treat, which if you don't know what trunk or treat is, it's the stupid idea of, hey, bring your kids to a car and tell them it's okay to take candy from strangers' cars. That's something to enforce. Then you can go to the nursing homes and like bounce around there. A lot of the churches, um, especially in the smaller towns, like individual churches do. A, well, you can come and get candy and dress up and it's not demonic thing. I, I don't know about that. And then there's actual trick or treating. Now in my town, trick or treating is never on Halloween. Because if it's on a Friday, well, we can't interfere with high school football. If it's on a Saturday, we can't interfere with college football. If it's on a Sunday, nobody's doing anything unholy on a Sunday. And um, we obviously can't have it on a major weekday, Monday through Wednesday. So it's usually the Thursday before Halloween. Why we can't just have it on Halloween is beyond me. And it's also only from 6 to 7. So honestly, what you should do is um, come to Halloween for that hour and then go to all the other Halloweens because the bigger cities all do it on the main day and the trick-or-treating on the main day. Why am I talking about trick-or-treating and complaining so much? Because trick-or-treating, there's not too many tricks. We try to avoid the trick part or it's like, oh, I'm, oh, yeah. <laughs> and you actually are out for the treats, obviously. Now, with treats, there comes the debate. Is chocolate candy or is chocolate its own entity? Is it just a flavor? And I'm going to settle all of the arguments and debates right here, right now. And that is, there. it's both, basically. It depends on the format in which it's in. It Chocolate is candy. If you need proof of this, when it's Valentine's Day and you go to get your girlfriend a box of candy, I have a feeling you're not getting her a heart-filled thing with Twizzlers and Jolly Ranchers. There's no sponsors in this video, by the way. No, you're getting her chocolates or him chocolates or them chocolates. When somebody says chocolates, they use them for candy. When you look at something like this, again, not sponsored. When you're looking at something like this, what do you get? What is this called? A candy bar. When you look at the candy section in any grocery store, what is it? It's loaded with candies. Nobody, there is not one person in this universe who says candy bar and doesn't refer to chocolate bars, okay? Because there is no bar-shaped candy that is not chocolate. Every other kind of like fruity or chewy candy is in some sort of a pellet or in some sort of a string, like a nerd's rope or Twizzlers, or as I said, it's in a pellet form like Skittles or Jolly Ranchers. There is no candy bar that is a bar of a fruity candy nature. We call those things like fruit bars. They're not candy. They don't qualify as candy. <clears throat> but, so therefore, chocolate must be candy. When you go to a candy store, 90% of it is chocolate. Some kind of chocolate covered something. Now, you can exchange the word candy for just the word chocolates because you can get a box of chocolates or a box of candy and it'll have the same con contents, you know, some sort of a nougat or caramel covered with a coating of chocolate. And you know what, if you're gonna get on my case about like, is it caramel or is it caramel? You say it your way, I'll say it mine. And if you correct me, I'm just gonna slap you and then ignore you, okay? It does not matter that much in life if I say caramel and you say caramel, all right? I'm not changing the way I'm saying it. You're not changing the way you're saying it. We move on with life. Let us move on with life. Now, the argument can be made that chocolate is a flavor. Yes, but chocolate isn't just its own flavor. 
because one, there's white chocolate, which is not really chocolate, even though it has the word in it because it's not made from cocoa beans. Chocolate is, is a substance in and of itself. Like you, chocolate is its own thing, uh, like cocoa powder. Now you might be saying, well, that's cocoa. Is it? Because when you say cocoa powder versus hot cocoa, you are describing two very different things. People, yes, you can make hot cocoa with cocoa powder. Majority of the time, colloquially, the accepted way that we use that, cocoa powder is an ingredient to make your cake batter brown with a slight hint of chocolate. When you're talking about hot chocolate or hot cocoa, you're talking about, you're usually talking about like Swiss Miss or some kind of terrible packet that you put into a thing and add water or milk to. Um, you know, and then the other thing that chocolate is in of itself are baking bars. It's a bar of cocoa that's not in powder form and it just doesn't have sugar, but that is chocolate that is a chocolate bar when you refer to it that's exactly what that is doesn't taste good but hey neither does vanilla vanilla is the most deceptive thing in the baking world and we all know it um you know and like i said chocolate can be a flavor there's chocolate milk at hot chocolate it could arguably be a flavor as well because it's basically because without the choc without the cocoa powder you just have hot milk or just hot water and that's it there's nothing there um chocolate syrup there are many different kinds of syrups that don't have cocoa powder but again cocoa powder is its own thing and you know it's not just a flavoring vanilla is you know just like vanilla there's an actual substance that is vanilla and then there's vanilla flavor which are very different things because if you try to say that vanilla the the ingredient substance is anything identical to vanilla ice cream everyone's gonna say that you're wrong and that you should probably be locked up in an insane asylum in conclusion with the evidence being presented that everybody calls this a candy bar or you know unless you're in like the the stinking uk you know, or in, what is that, Australasia, Australia, I don't care what you call it, where they call everything sweets. Because they, they just don't have time for all of this, you know, is it a chocolate, is it a, they just don't want to deal with the BS. Everything's a sweet. But in America, we call these candy bars. They are chocolate, they are chocolate covered substances. You will find just chocolate, like a Hershey bar, by itself now the only and if, if you don't have proof enough of that m ms their motto is candy that melts in your mouth and not in your hand it's just chocolate that's all it is is chocolate but it's called in its description a candy therefore it is both just everyone just needs to stop being obsessed with being right and that it's either a candy or it's not a candy you know what it can very well and it is both i have solved the chocolate versus candy is it or isn't it debate for all of eternity now i say that but i realize i'm putting this on the internet where where we can't have a middle ground there isn't a yeah we can have it both ways and you know agree to disagree and evidence is supportive for both sides the internet doesn't work like that. Everyone's just gonna have a screaming match about, about no it isn't, yes it is, because you're all hell bent on being destructive on Halloween. Get yourself a candy bar and put it in your mouth and uh, then you'll chill out and we, can watch, and we can watch Dracula, all right? So happiness from Halloween time. I will see you for Makeup Monday and for the next FCA Friday. Bye-bye.